Hi guys, welcome to Excessive Gamer. I'm Excessive Brutality. Thanks for joining me on part 4 of Supermassives Until Dawn. This is my Let's Play, and we continue right where we left off last time. It was getting quite spooky. So I hope you enjoy it. Here we go, previously on Until Dawn. our one-way ticket to the spirit realm I've just been through enough spooking for one night okay I see a hot bath in my crystal ball so have fun Jessica oh my god oh my god shit there is one individual we're considering as a person of interest but his whereabouts are currently unknown you know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? Chapter 5, Dread. Six hours until dawn. Jesus. What are you hiding That's from, good. man? That's really not good. Uh, Mike, sanatorium grounds. 1.03 a.m. <laughs> Scraggly old dogs right there. Look at that shit. Obviously we need to get in that way. It's quite clear, isn't it? I think it is, I think it is. Alright. For my first run through, this is one of my favorite levels, to be honest with you. It, uh, it gets quite intense in here. Quite fun, this part of the game. There's a lot to do. Alright, I am in control, mother bitches! Let's get this party started! Alright, let's hit L1 for a bit of a quicker pace. Is there maybe a totem around here somewhere? Do I want the totem? I don't really give a crap about the totem. Let's get up here, try to get inside. Let's go this way first. Try the door first. Let's try the actual door before we try any other alternative entry point. Oh! Well, that kind of paid off. Pretty good. Nice views, making you a little bit uneasy when you, uh, you know, looking at the guy from the back on the top. Look at that. The dogs don't even know who's that. Can't be for real. I bet the dogs would have known. Look at them. Nothing. They would have sensed it for sure. It's okay, Chris. It says locked, but there is another door back here. I saw it, man. No worries. Nothing to worry about. Just retrace your steps. That's it, man. Can I get in that door there, or am I mistaken? Yeah, I can get into that door. Let's check this here. Just to emphasize where we are. The Blackwood Pine Sanatorium. Opens 1922. Mensana in Corpore San. Sounds Italian, but I don't know what the fuck. I don't know. Might not be Italian. I'm not Italian, so. But whatever. What have we got down here? Anything interesting? It's a safe. Oh. That's not gonna work, my friend. Is it? Oh shit, sorry, sorry, sorry. Forgot to fucking hold the button down. 
You're joking, it's gonna work. Oh my, that's a fucking shite safe, innit? Fancy putting your fucking prized possessions in there, man. Fucking in. Time cards. Anything else interesting in here? Wow, that was amazing, very interesting stuff. That was really good. Definitely worth a look in that safe. Yep. Amazing. It was not amazing. A couple of pennies here and there wouldn't hurt. What have we got down here? A flashy thing. Follow the flash. Always follow the flashy thing. Look at that. Nice little vintage camera. It's broken though. Might be worth a few bob. Do we need a... Do we, 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 do we need to check it to see if there's any film in it? Can you turn the other way? No, it doesn't do shit. Let's go through this open door, which says, Morgue. Oh yeah, that's definitely, def ooh, look at that, definitely where I would go if I was in a, an abandoned, an abandoned, um, or sanatorium. Is uh you know take a take a stroll down to the morgue. It's it's definitely where you want to be. It's, it's a good choice, yeah. All right then, let's pick up the newspaper. Huh. Can't read the top bit, but assaulted on Blackwood Mountain, and uh, I'm not going to read the rest of it. So maybe I'm missing some clues, but hey. I want to get under the morgue. I don't know about you, but it tickles my fancy. Let's go down to the morgue. To the morgue we shall go. Wait, not yet. We're going to go in here first. Going to go to this table. There's a nice little shiny little dingling right there. See what this is. Minor medical report. Report follows... The initial state of the 12 miners after the collapse of the mine was subsequent rescue at Blackwood uh, Pines. Admittance. On receipt of the 12 patients at the sanatorium's medical facility, we had fully expected to find emaciated shells of men, starved and confused. Thankfully, the miners appeared cogent and relatively healthy. Attributed to their apparent discovery of emergency food supplies in the mine, Inhibited respiratory function was detected in a few of the older men as predicted, as well as symptoms of pneumonia. Psychologically, after being trapped for 23 days, the shock of reintegration has been difficult for some of the group. Though their outward health is better than expected, they do seem affected by the time in the mine. Treatment. Due to the delicate nature of some of the patients, we have closed off the A-wing of the sanatorium. Psychological evaluations will take place as soon as possible. The men with respiratory respiratory problems have undergone a bronco bronchoscopy and are prescribed a course of strepo mitty shitty fucking bullocks shitty bitch things the other are simply kept under strict 24 hour observation sorry dudes medical terms not for me one of those guys actually tried to bite me I'm gonna report it to Dr. Bowen Dr. Bowen, the bitch, try to bite me, motherfucker. Don't you try to bite? You don't try to bite people? What the fuck? Down to the moor we go. Look at that guy, so brave. There's a little lantern. Here we go. No problem, mate, no problem. It's okay. Anyway, even there was something in the morgue, they'd be dead, so it's okay. Nothing to worry about. Okay. Look at that. Ooh, that looks like a nice machete. Oh, shit. Gross. Yeah, I'll take that gladly. Alright, Chrissy. 
Got more shiny things. Should we go around the back here first? See what we've got. Might be another clue somewhere. Something interesting here. Perhaps. Perhaps. Perhaps not. You never know with these things. But exploration is paramount to a successful game session. So we continue to explore. <gasps> the doggy. There's a doggy. I saw a doggy. I'm not certain it would have been a friendly doggy. But uh Ah, it's a nice little rat as well. Rats are cool. Look at that, there's a little shiny thing right there. I'm gonna have to go around here and round the back. Over here into this room. What the fuck? That is some freaky ass motherfucking bullshit. Okay, let's take the tag off. Oh my. Oh my. Okay, guys. We all know where this is going. Amputate fingers. Straight away. Let's do this shit. Let's do this shit. Oh 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 shit. Let's do it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah! Ah. Fucking hell! It's quite handy, thank you to that maniac guy who left that uh, trap there for me, but also left some medical supplies, I appreciate it. Chris, it's great that you know how to treat your wound as well. It's always handy to have know-how. It's great, great news. I don't go, I don't know what the fuck to do. Right. Okay. One secundo, por favor. Okay, so we must continue. This is, um, oh, we want to go that way. Look at that fucking shit. It says strange skull, but uh, that don't look like a skull to me. That looks like a head. There is a bit of a difference. There's another shiny little thing right here. And of course you want to open that door and pull some kind of dead body or something. It's what you do in the mall. You know, you're exploring away, trying to find, you know, shit. And stuff. Yeah, that's part of, you know, everyday life. Just checking stuff in the morgue. What have we got here? Someone has a circled head. Right there. Name tag. Attack by an inmate. Fatal lacerations to throat. I can't read the name right now. I think something Bowen. That's the Bowen guy we read about before. This little son of a bitch. Okay, let's move over here. I like the head very much. Let's go into the chapel. It's locked. It's not gonna find a fucking key card. Chapel pass required. So I'm guessing we is not going to go to the chapel. Not right now anyway. Oh wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. I know what might happen. We're looking for... Oh. Fucking shit. Another. Nice. Lovely. Dead person's last bed. Thing. Alright, registration of death. I'm not going to read this. Body. 
not discovered until six to eight hours after death. Sections of the intestine and kidney were apparently eaten by the attacker. Lot of hungry people in this game. Loads of pigs being eaten and in intestine, so whoever whoever is the killer is definitely into some fucking sausage. Let's go here. Oh yeah, we got we got some we got something here, man. We got a lovely uh, dead person right here. Look at that beautiful face. Look at those eyes. Such a beauty. Oh God Almighty. Oh, but what you know? He has a pass. Wouldn't have guessed it. One bit. Okay, let's check this out. I guess it's just you know, the whole professional gaming. That's what it is. You know, when you are a professional gamer such as me, you know this shit like the back of your hand. I know it pretty well. My hand, that is. Not so much the game. I got a brain like Dory. I forget things so quick. So I could play this game three times, and then when I play it again, it's like playing a new game. It's awesome because I get most bang for my buck. So yeah, my short-term memory. What you gonna do about it? Wins me some, and it loses me less. Mm-hmm. Up we go. Oh, bollocks! I wasn't expecting that. I believe it was not. Here we go. What about that? Told you. Sorry. Fuck's sake. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Yeah. Just keep running. Just keep running. Just keep running. Shut the door, bitch. There we go. It's under control all the time. Was all totally under control. Nothing to worry about here. All right. Can we get? We can't get through there. We're just looking. All right. So we back away. Let's see what else there is around here. I'm gonna go down this way. I think there was another dog. Right. Back in here. All right. So This was locked. So I don't think we can go in this way. Can we use that key? Oh, we can. That guy had um, passed to the chapel as well. Morgan Chapel. Oh. <laughs> Kick in the face, why not? Know your place, doggy. Know your place. You want another kick in the face? Do you want another kick in the face? That's a good boy. That's right. Easy. Don't want to lose more fingers, Chris. Hey, I'm not so bad. Right? I'm not worth losing things. more fingers. Considering you just lost two, you That's seem important. pretty good. Seem pretty in control of things. All right, so what do we got here? We got some stuff in here. So, what have we? We got a jacket. There's a hole here as well. Yep. It's about time you wore something. It's fucking cold out there, man. Oh, that's not gonna happen. That's not gonna work, Chris. Well, look at that shit. Clever son of a bitch. Nice. He did it. We got a gun. Fuck 
yes. We got a gun. We got a gun. Let's see what we can do with it. Let's go in here. Look at that. Fucking freak. Clue found clippings on the wall. Got Bigfoot sighted and everything on there. Alright, so anything around here that's interesting? Nothing at all. So, we must move on. Is this open? Can't do anything here. This is the other lock, the other door. The only problem with shooting like that, and obviously in this game, nothing's going to give. It's okay to have done that. Is that uh, anybody would have fucking heard that, but not in this game. It's all good, mate. Gunshot. Middle of a fucking chapel area. You know, echoey and stuff. Not a problem whatsoever. No sound reverberation. Nothing. Nothing is going on. What's that? A totem. Oh, I'll get this one. It looks quite cool and freaky, so I might as well look at this. It's the top of one of them. All right. I recall that one from my first run through. I'm not going to give anything away, but I know the exact moment that happens. And we got to go down here now. The atmosphere in this game, the lighting. I love this game, guys. Hope you're enjoying it too. at that no sense of you know urgency no you know he, he looks under control he does not seem phased by the situation not at all look at him walking around like he owns the motherfucking place like he owns the motherfucking place bitch all right so we got anything here Nothing here. Let's go around here. Another door. Like the doors. Doors are good. Doors are always good because you can close them behind you. Okay. Of course. Can we shoot that? Okay. Let's take a little tug over here. Make a little bit more noise. Just trying to warn everyone I'm here. And nice little shot right there. Oh no. That is a, not a great sign. Oh shit. Run, bitch. Run! 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 There we go. Such an intellectual guy, the way he just moved away from that, you know. Make sure he didn't get into the burn, nothing. Great. Look at this freak. Look at him wearing a mask inside a fucking control room. What the fuck? All right, so that's not doing it's anything. Locked. The hell who did that? Then there's some seriously uncool shit going on up here tonight. Back to this fucker. What a fucking shit couple. I can't believe Josh is dead. I can't believe how he died. No, I mean, what if they were wrong? What? Maybe we should have checked the shed to see if it was really true. I, I don't know. There are some things that once you see them, you can never unsee them. Yeah, I guess, but some things you have to see for yourself. I'll take their word for it. Look! An axe. I feel better with an axe. Now that is my kind of weapon. Messy. The bit of range. And heavy. Like. Oh, what now? This is locked, Matt. We'll break the door down, will ya? Whoa, wait a second. We start smashing shit down. He's gonna hear us. Well, you got any better suggestions? I don't know. What about? Look. What? A window. That's great, Matt. I can just about fit my lip balm through that little slot. Oh, come on. You will never fit through there, big guy. Smash the door, man. Stop being such a fucking pussy. She's right okay, for a fine. change. Here goes. I'm gonna huff, and I'm gonna... Shh, just do it!
The whole place has been ransacked. to Chris and Ash and Josh? He's got to know this is the only way back. Don't say that. Look, the cable car's all the way out there. Well, that's, I, I mean, that's not far, right? You, you can jump it? <laughs> I'm good, him. But not that good. Flattered, though. Well, Matt, if you can't jump that, what are we going to do? I, I don't know. God, everything is, like, so busted up. I think they knew exactly what they were doing. Hey, look! Fire tower! Hey, Magellan, maybe we should get the cable car working and take this show on the road, huh? Friendly. Unfollow. <sighs> Great. No keys, Key missed no cable car. So back to square one. <gasps> what about the fire tower on, on the map you found? Look. I guess it's an option. Oh, maybe it has a radio or something. I mean, it, it would, wouldn't it? Probably, yeah. Matt, we got to get to that radio. We can use the radio to call for help. Somebody's got to pick up the signal. Oh, well, someone's learning to play by the <laughs> rules. What? What rules? Rule number one, Emily is always right. Rule number two, nothing else matters because Emily is always right. Such uh -huh. a shitty fucking piece of shit she is. Oh, hold up. What? Right here, might as well get it. Mm. Looks like that was a flare gun, and Grace handed it over to him. So, what if it doesn't work? What the radio? It'll work, but. If it doesn't, we need a plan. Maybe we can just climb down. Climb down what? The mount. Are you serious? Let's, Let's get to it when we get to it, dude. It's not like it's floating in the sky. <laughs> it might as well be. It's pitch black out. Hey, 
Hopefully we won't have to. You think the psychopath is just gonna give up and run away? No. But maybe we should find a safe spot. Hold up, wait it out. It'll be a little easier to figure this all out in the morning. As long as we don't hide in the lodge, that's where he expects us to go. See that radio tower? It's around here. And a totem, like the totem. Oh, like his leg was hurt there. Okay. Oh, uh, this does this that looks familiar like the first time that the girls fell down. Looks pretty similar. Danger cliff. Obvious. Yes, Matt. Given the choice, I'd prefer not to spend my evening plummeting to my death off a snowy cliff top. Alright, it's the same thing again. So we're gonna head back then. Oh, what's happening now? What is going on? Oh, look, look, look at the deer. What, well, I don't know what they are, but they look like reindeer or something. Um. Hey, how are you doing, guys? You're kind of, kind of in a bit of an awkward situation right here. Okay. Oh, she's getting clean. Look at the size of the fucking bathtub. Oh shit. Look at that guy. Just standing right there. Rock solid. If you know what I mean. With his lovely little mask there. Hey, no problem. No care in the world, man. Just come to change your life, Bob. That's all. Oh, baby. You don't know what you just had right there behind you. You would have freaked out of your life. Guys. What are you doing out there? Okay. <laughs> Sam, Washington Lodge. One eleven in the morning. Now, there's another Chris? thing here. What's that there? Josh? Oh, wait, say it's my clothes, really? Whichever one of you <laughs> did this, just the just socks. It's okay, just leave it there. You don't need it. Not just cool, walk guys. around there. Not cool at all. With the towel, it's fine. All these, all these nice candles. Did you put all these candles yourself? Are you getting all frisky on yourself? Baby. What the hell is that? Look at all these candles everywhere. Oh my god. It's okay. It's okay. Just chill out. Chill the fuck out, everyone. Nothing's going on. A lot of balloons with arrows on them. Chris? Mike? Emily? That's what you do. This is really getting out of hand, okay? It was all very funny. Ha <laughs> ha. Look at Sam walking around in a towel, but now I just really want this to be over, all right? You had enough? Look at that photo. Ready for the senior prom, Hannah, Sam, Can Mike, and Emily. My back now, or am I supposed to hang out in a towel for the rest of the weekend? Trying to freak me out. Guess what? You succeeded. Who 
are you guys? Well, okay, there's a bit spooky. Here. Oh my god, there's a fucking shoe there. Was a cameraman. She's quite beautiful, isn't she? What are you doing out there? A beautiful bathing bird. What? What Do you she... think she has any idea what lies ahead? Do you think these were the last happy moments of this creature's Why life? Showing this to me. Why are you watching? Josh! That is what does it make you feel? Oh my. She's so. Open. That's awesome. What are you gonna do? Hide in the bed? Seriously? Jump over the bed. Come on. Quickly. Oh, that's lucky. Got it right time, guys. Come on, this guy's coming. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Keep running, keep running. Running is always good. You'll fall eventually and then he'll catch you like all horror movies, but keep running. Look at that, he's got a limb. You can take him. Are you kidding me? No handle? There's a handle. Oh, he's gonna catch him. Just stab him with a handle. There we go. Oh man, that was lucky. Oh, she's locked in the room. Oh wow. Freaky stuff. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for today. We're going to leave it right there. So, um, please hit that like button, leave a comment, and please click that subscribe button. Remember, if you ain't playing rock card, then you ain't playing at all. I'm Excessive Brutality, and this is Excessive Gamer. Thanks for watching. Until next time, guys.